Hi there and welcome back to this episode of Cars Drones Computer. So today we're going to be taking apart this draggy GPS monitoring device and go ahead and see what's inside, how it fastens to your vehicle and see what makes this thing tick. So stay tuned. So taking a quick look at the device here, there is a LED that sits right on top here, a micro USB here in the back, and it has some magnets here on the bottom, which I'm sure we'll see once we take it apart. 30 centimeters wide by 16 centimeters tall and about 80 millimeters long. So it's about one inch by three inches by a little over a half inch. This here just sticks in your car onto a metal surface so it holds it nice and firm. And you can do zero to 60 runs, 60 to 130, quarter mile times, eighth mile. Uh, you can go 60 to zero to test your brakes. There's all kinds of things you're doing. I basically call this the poor man's dyno. Uh, it's roughly $150, I believe, on Amazon. The links will be in the description below if you want to check that out. But essentially, it is a good way to tell after you've done a modification to your vehicle to see if the modification was actually worth it. Sometimes it's not. I also like to see differences. So it usually connects to quite a few satellites and uh, uses that. It's very accurate. Um, there's a whole bunch of other videos on YouTube that'll show you how accurate it is compared to say a, uh, a drag strip timer, for example. But uh, I've had really good success with it and it's been very consistent for me. This also has an app associated with it. It has social media functions. So if you have friends who also have these devices, you can compare with them and their vehicles. So of course, always be careful what you record, but you can set your phone up and use the app's in-app overlay to record exactly your run and the speed you hit and everything like that. So it'd be good for, let's say, drag strip or track use. Let's go ahead and uh, tear this thing apart and see what's inside. All right, so the first thing I notice here is I got two indentations right here, and then I just poked at this little small little hole right there. Usually that's indicative of a screw. So what I'm gonna try to do is peel off this label right here and see if there's a screw underneath. And yes, there is. So take that, oh, there's the magnets. We'll go ahead and take this label all the way off so you guys can see what's underneath. All right, there's two screws. So go ahead and uh, just stick that right there. And now I'll get a Phillips screwdriver here. Take these two screws out. And take the other one out. Okay, so now that I got that, set those over there. Now let's see here. So in here we have a, uh, looks like a 400 milliamp. I'm gonna go with lithium ion based on the uh, cell construction and it definitely has a chip up here. Take these two screws out here holding in the main PCB. All right, so, so far we got one sticker and four screws. So let me go ahead and pop this out. All right, so here is, looks like to be one of the main chips. You have four different uh, color LEDs and uh, has another chip right here. I'm guessing this here is the antenna. Underneath there's really not anything other than the USB port and of course the battery. So it sits in there like a sandwich, just like that inside the device. Uh, so let me go ahead and uh, see if I can get some information about this stuff. First things first here, you have the Ehong EHMC10 uh, Bluetooth chip, and uh, it does run on 3.3 volts, and it has up to a 300 kilobytes per second data transfer rate. So this here is the module that's actually talking to your phone. This is a Ublox Max M8Q uh, GPS receiver, so this is what's directly attached to this uh, ceramic patch antenna. These go for about $20 to $25, depending on where you buy them. This operates at 1.575 gigahertz uh, radio signal frequency, or you could call it 1575 megahertz, which is a typical civilian GPS uh, signal. I don't really see any other processing power, so most of your processing power is done in your phone, and this basically just communicates. This is everything you need for the phone to communicate, and then the phones will do all the calculations and everything like that. So these basically will talk to it, but your phone interprets that data. Okay, so overall we have about $5, I'd say, for the battery, $15 for the antenna, about $10 for the Bluetooth module, and about $25 for the GPS receiver. And of course you got LEDs and PCB costs, so I'll go ahead and say $5 for that. So that total basically comes out to right around $60 for everything. And so that's what makes this device kick. A lot of what you're paying for, I guess, is uh, the intellectual property. Of course, they had to develop the app 
and all of those things and figure out how to use your phone with this thing. And uh, also, I mean, this is way cheaper than competitors, uh, VBox and RaceLogic and things like that. And it seems to be uh, quite accurate based on a lot of people's reviews. Um, and in my testing, I've had very consistent results with it. So uh, one thing I do want to take a quick minute and talk about the channel just a little bit. I'm thinking about starting a new series where I even tear apart things like this. This is a working uh, old Palm Pilot or PDA as we used to call them. Um, I think it'd be interesting to tear something like this apart. I have some old uh, tablet PCs and things like that. And I guess relics of the past now at this point, but uh, interesting to see how technology has come along. So if you'd like to see some of those types of teardowns too, go ahead and be sure to hit that subscribe button. For upcoming episodes, I do intend on getting a Sony a6400 camera. I will be doing a teardown of that. Even though I broke my Osmo pocket, it hasn't deterred me at all. And I'm going to drive on for you guys and also for myself because I have a lot of fun doing these videos. So, so if you did like today's content, please go ahead and hit that like button down below. And uh, thank you so much for watching this episode of Cars, Drones, Computers. And until next time, bye for now.